So the first question will go for Dr. Rajani. And the question is, why should you as a medical student choose vascular surgery? I get an hour or so to answer that right here. Um, we've touched on some of this. I, I can tell you it's the best job in the world and I'll, I'll get back to that in a second. But I, I think ultimately at the end of the day, Dr. Velasquez and Berlin will agree that our, our job isn't to convince you to go into vascular surgery, right? Like at the end of the day, our job is to make sure you know what it means and to think about whether it's a good fit to you. So I'll, I'll tweak it a little bit and talk about the types of things that may interest you to go into this field. And, and I think there's lots of great things to go into. And, and, I, and I, my wife's a cardiologist and you'd be surprised how often at the end of the day, you know, dear, how was your day? It's pretty much the same day, except slightly different. Once you finish your training and get through with stuff, you take care of some patients, you take care of some, some trainees and you do all that sort of stuff. Ultimately, we've touched on a couple of big ticket items, though. One is the idea that taking care of the disease process as a whole, and not just the surgical aspects, I think is, is part and parcel with what our DNA is about. And one way I'll, I'll make that sort of more concrete is if you go to a surgical clinic and you see, let's say they see arbitrarily 20 patients in a day, you actually get a pretty good sense of the type of field it is based on the number of cases that are booked out of those 20 cases, 20 patients in a given clinic. So a cardiac surgeon, for example, wants to book 20 cases out of those 20. They wanna be sent patients by a cardiologist who really need an operation and their focus, which is really cool, is mastering that operation. It's not uncommon that I'll see like 20 people and I'll book maybe a couple of cases but so much of what we do, and hold on, it's actually better than it sounds, is longitudinal care where we are watching people's aneurysms. We are watching their dialysis function. We're making sure that their longstanding peripheral arterial disease is doing okay, that their carotids haven't gotten worse where it puts them at risk for a stroke. And I, I can't even begin to explain how meaningful it is for those 20 patients to get to know them and their families over a period of time and manage much of their care. Part of that has to do with the environment that I work in, that there isn't a, great, a lot of great access to care, which is, which is increasingly true across this country. But a lot of my patients think I'm their primary care doctor. I have to pretty strongly tell them that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. <laughs> but you fill a similar role in their life. And you have to be willing to buy into the idea of being the real longitudinal doctor. And at the end of the day, if you take someone's gallbladder out, they only got one of those to take out and you don't have much to do with them. It's very episodic. This is surgical care that's longitudinal because the disease processes happen together. All of the risk factors drive all of the same disease processes. One patient will have an aneurysm and maybe claudication and carotid disease and ultimately go on to renal failure. And we're there for them every step of the way. That's the one big piece that I, would, I think is really important to understand about our field. And then the other one is this idea that I'll, I'll tell you at the end of the day, when I was interviewing, you know, I, I gave all these answers that you guys are going to have to give and it's really important, but in retrospect, why did I do this? If I were brutally honest with you and myself, it was important for my ego to do a field that was technically demanding. I had to do something that made me feel like I was the best of the best technique wise. And that was going to push me to be that type of physician. And I think vascular surgery does that because the, the, the work that you put in over the years with your hands have meaningful results. I'm better than I was yesterday. I'm certainly better than I was 10 years. And I hope I continue to be better every day of my life because once that curve goes down, it's probably time to do something else. But that idea of being technically respected and, and, and master your craft from a fine tuning standpoint of what you can do with your hands, coupled with that idea of broad-based care, I don't think you can find that anywhere else because you're either just focusing on one operation, or you're doing a bunch of operations, but not really providing longitudinal care because it's episodic. And I think that makes vascular incredibly unique. For me, those are the types of things that if they sound appealing to you, there's no field you're gonna find that, that meets that, there's, there's really not. 